Okay, continuing on the theme of the day, which happens to be direct substitution is your friend. We're asked to find this limit. It says find the limit, the limit of tan of x over x as x goes to 0. Well, obviously we can see that if x goes to 0, this thing becomes undefined because the denominator goes to 0. But what's tan of 0? You want to remember that tan is sine of x over cosine of x. And sine of 0 is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, and 0 over 1 is, it's defined, but it's 0. So there's that thing again, right? There's the culprit. There's the thing that's supposed to raise suspicions in our hearts and minds. Uh, and we see this indeterminate form of 0 over 0. And what is that supposed to tell us? It's supposed to tell us that they have a shared factor. From there, we can start moving forward. But this tells us if this was 1 over 0, it, it, would be, it would be undefined, but it wouldn't be the clue that it is in this form. So from there, I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to ask you to try to keep this in mind, please. Hopefully you're making a, a flashcard or uh, something to memorize this rule. This is special trig limit, and that is that the limit of sine of x over x as x goes to 0 is 1. And I can prove that to you. Um, let me know by comment if that's what you need to see. But in the interim, um, we're going to do that. So look at this for a second. Will you? Hopefully you remember trig. If you're with me, we worked really hard on this, and you got great at it. So let's look at this and see, isn't this true? Uh, as x goes to 0, we can rewrite that as, right, sine of x. Well, look, let's, let's look at this for a second. Right, look at tan, right? Tan of x is the same as sine x, isn't it? over cosine x. Isn't that true? And we talked about that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break this out, and you're going to see why in just a second. Right? So let's start with this. Let's start with sine x. So we'll take sine x. Right? And here's our x down here, right? There's this x. Times, look. All I'm doing is I'm breaking out tan, right? And I'm saying that tan is this. So this part of it is right here, isn't it? And I have it over this x times 1 over cosine x. 1 over cosine x. Take a second. Don't freak out. Take a second and look at this. If I put all this back together, it would go back together perfectly, right? I have uh, tan of x. Tan of x is sine x over cosine x, right? And I have the whole thing over x, and there's that x right there. Okay? Is that making good sense to you? I hope that it is. And from that, we can get some stuff. Uh, for one thing, we know this. Look. What's this limit right here? Right? Sine, the limit of sine of x over x as x goes to 0 is 1. So this one right here is this one. And 1 over cosine, 1 over cosine, we want x, but we want x to go to 0. Cosine of 0 is what? Right? Cosine of 0, remember, right? Cosine of 0 is 1, isn't it? So we get this one right here. I'm sorry, yeah, this one and this one. That's this one right here. This solidus is this one. And cosine of 0 is 1. And 1 times 1 is 1. So I, I know that's nuts, but that worked out pretty good, didn't it? So what's the genesis of it? Where does this all start from? How do we know that we're supposed to be doing something? Direct substitution. So I started with direct substitution as a test. So when we did the direct substitution, hopefully from that, you saw that we got that indeterminate form of 0 over 0. And when you saw this, that that told you that there's a shared factor and that there was work to be done. And if that wasn't true, that would be a good stopping point. But in this case, it really gives us an avenue to start working. The other thing that should have really helped us is, one, knowing our trig identities, knowing that tan of x is sine x over cosine x, and also that we're starting to memorize these rules. And this idea about flashcards and so forth, this will really pay off. Look, you guys have a little bit of time. There's a way to do this. Um, one of you geniuses will try to will find a way to make electronic flashcards on your iPhone. Oh, my God. All right, you don't get credit for that. Do that. Make a flashcard. I'm not joking. Make a flashcard. Take a picture of the flashcard. Save it to your iPhone. And then when you're where, when you're in any class but calculus and you're flipping through your phone, flip through that. Yeah? 
or when you're out at lunch with your friends, you're not talking to them anyway. Just look through your flashcards. There's a way to do this, and you'll always have those flashcards with you. My God, I'm a genius. All right, love you guys to death. Keep working. I'm begging you. It's going to work out great for us.